Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike here, and today I'm gonna be showing you the top 10 guns in Watch Dogs. This idea was suggested by YouTube user Tansk. So up at number 10 we have the ATSG-12 shotgun. So this gun is clearly uh, based on the AA-12 shotgun, and uh, it's very good at uh, dealing with close to medium range enemies. It has 12 shells in its gauge, and it's also fairly good at dealing with cars. Uh, being able to destroy one full car uh, in a single magazine. And after number 9 we have the M107 sniper rifle. This weapon's magazine holds uh, 10 cartridges each. Uh, it has the longest effective range of any weapon in the whole game, and uh, it can kill an enforcer with two headshots, so very very cool. And also this is the same sniper used by the uh, SWAT snipers in the helicopters, you know the ones that chase you around during police chases. So yeah, this is pretty much the best weapon you might use for, uh, you know, very long range targets. And after number 8 we have the Chrome Pistol. Now this pistol is a revolver and uh, it has a really cool uh, sleek silver look to it. Also it's a very unusual revolver because it fires in bursts of 3 shots, which is very rare for revolvers. You get this pistol uh, in the game after completing 10 crime detection missions and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And after number 7 we have the Auto 6 which is actually very similar to the Chrome, except this one, uh, well, it's red. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful, uh, but it has a very high recoil. Uh, you only get this gun if you have the Cyberpunk Pack DLC. So yeah, very, very cool and very badass gun. And now for number 6, we have the Vector 45 ACP. Uh, this one, uh, it's very, very fun to use. Of course, this weapon is very effective for uh, short to medium range enemies, not all that effective for long range enemies. And also it has a very uh, long magazine, which is cool, and that combined with the high rate of fire makes this a very cool gun to just spray around with. And now for number 5 we have the M8M pistol. This is a semi-automatic revolver, and uh, it's one of the three 5 star rated handguns in the game. So uh, it's very very powerful, having high damage, and also very accurate, so it's a good balance. Also this pistol happens to be based on the Meteba Auto Revolver. And after number 4 we have the D50 handgun. Uh, now this is essentially the same as a Desert Eagle, so of course it's very very powerful. Uh, also it only holds 8 bullets in one magazine sadly, but to counterbalance the rate of fire is very good. Also, you can unlock a golden version of this gun through a Uplay. And now for number 3 we have the U100 light machine gun. Now this is the only light machine gun in the game to my knowledge. And of course what makes it really good is that it has a crap load of rounds in its magazine, uh, 75 to be exact, so more than any other gun in the game. And uh, it's based on the real life Ultimax 100 Mark V. So it's amazing for very long sustained fire, since of course it has a lot of uh, bullets in its magazine. But the only bad thing about this gun is that it does have a high recoil. And after number 2 we have the ACR. Now this is hands down the best assault rifle in the whole game. Uh, it has very high damage, very high range, uh, it's extremely accurate, very low recoil. Uh, the only downside is that it has a low rate of fire. But it depends how you look at it, I mean if you want you could also say that it's ammo efficient. And now finally for number 1 we have the GL94 grenade launcher. Now this one, I mean there's very little to say about it, uh, it's extremely fun to use. I mean it just you know makes things go boom and it can solve any problem you have. Uh, it can destroy helicopters, cars in one hit, uh, any kind of enemy, even the heavy ones, the juggernauts. Uh, so yeah, very very cool. The only downside of course is that it doesn't have all that much ammo, so quite quickly you'll find yourself uh, empty. But at the same time, you know, if it had a lot of ammo it would be freaking overpowered. So yeah, it's balanced. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, tell me how you like, uh, you know, me making Watchdog Top 10s. This is me just trying it out. And of course, leave me your Top 10 suggestions in the comment section below. Uh, whether it be Skyrim or Watch Dogs or any other game, you know, I'm trying out uh, various game titles, so, you know, you just uh, tell me in the comment section below. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!